Hello everyone. You're welcome to this um problem on um simultaneous equation. We can call it um simultaneous linear and quadratic equation. Okay, so this is equal to ten and um is our equation one then this is x plus y equals to okay this is 100 y this is 10 and this becomes our equation 2 now what we'll do now is to make one of the variable the subject either from equation 1 or equation 2 if i want to do that from equation 2 x is equal to 10 minus y so this becomes equation three. Now the next thing I will do is to make sure that I put the value of x in equation three into equation one. So our equation one is still x y equals one hundred. Now in place of x, I'm going to write ten minus y. Then this y will still will still appear. And this is equal to 100. So that if I open the bracket, I have 10y minus y squared equals 100. Now, what if I make minus y squared the subject? Or I write minus y squared first. So we write minus y squared plus 10. I want to write this in the left to bring this to the left. Um, to bring this to the left hand side, we have negative 100. Okay, this is 10y, right? This is 10y, then this becomes negative 100 and it's equal to 0 now. Now, we multiply everything by negative 1 because of this negative. So, it will give us positive y squared. This becomes negative 10y and this becomes plus 100. So this will be equal to zero. Now, what do I do? I will start looking for a way to deal with this um, quadratic equation. So you can decide any method to use. Let's use the formula method for this. So that y is what we are looking for. Uh, y will be equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac everything is over 2a a is 1 the coefficient of y squared b is minus 10 and c is 100 so our y will be equal to minus minus 10 so i write 10 over here Okay, so I will now have um, plus or minus. I expand, I open the, um, the square root and then b squared becomes minus 10 to the power of 2. Then we have minus 4 times a is 1 and c is 100. So this will be over, the whole of this will be over. 2 multiply by 1 so that y from here will be equal to 100 sorry this is 10 because we have negative negative it gives positive 10 then plus or minus we have minus 10 squared will give 100 minus 4 times 1 times 4 will give 400 so this will be over 2 right so to continue with this we have y to be equal to 10 plus or minus square root of negative 300 and this will be over 2. Now let me fix out or pick out this negative from here. So we have y to be equal to 10 plus or minus square root of 300 multiplied by square root of negative 1. This is over 2, right? Now, we have y to be equal to 10 plus or minus 
square root of 100 multiplied by 3. Then multiply by square root of negative 1. This is because 300 is the same thing as 100 times 3. And now 100 is a perfect square. So we have y. Okay, this is over 2. So y now is equal to 10 plus or minus square root of 100 is 10. Then we have root 3. Then multiply by square root of negative 1. Everything is over, over 2. Okay, so y now will be equal to 10 plus or minus. We have 10i square root of 3. Because square root of negative 1 is imaginary. So we write i. Then this is divided by 2. So that y will be equal to 5 plus or minus 5i square root of 3. Because 2 will go here 5 times and 2 will go here 5 times. So we are saying that y is equal to 5 plus 5i root 3 or 5 minus 5i. Then we have root 3. So that's... Um, from here, we are still going to get the value of um, x, and that will be obtained from equation 3. Okay, so here is our equation 3, x equals 10 minus y. So we are going to make use of that equation 3 right away. Okay, so this means that x is equal to 10 minus open bracket 5 plus 5i square root of 3 right so this is this and the whole of this is this i'm using this first value of y so x is equal to 10 minus 5 minus 5 i root 3 so that x will be equal to 5 minus 5 i root 3 so what are we saying we are saying that when x is equal to 5 minus 5i root 3, y is equal to 5 plus 5i root 3. Then we also have another value of y. So we will go back there and say that our x is equal to 10 minus, in place of y, I write 5 minus 5i root 3. Remember, the other value of y that I used has some um, positive here. So, x is equal to 10. Then we have minus 5. Then plus 5i root 3. So, this means that x is equal to 10 minus 5 is 5, right? Then plus 5i root 3. So what are we saying? We are saying that um, when x is equal to 5 plus 5i root 3, y is equal to 5 minus 5i root 3. Okay, so thank you for watching. This is a solution and here is another solution that provided the value of x and y. Thank you for watching. If you love the way I solved this, Subscribe to my channel and keep sharing to your friends. Thank you for all the support.